Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the coolant temperature sensor on this 2006 Jeep Liberty with the 3.7 liter V6 engine. And the items you'll need for this is a new coolant temperature sensor from 1AAuto.com, a 16 millimeter wrench, a drip pan, a flat blade screwdriver, a funnel with a screen, a 3 quarter inch socket and ratchet with an extension, and an 8 millimeter Allen bit. Remove the cap to your coolant reservoir. Your drain plug is located right here under the bumper. And using a 16 millimeter wrench, just loosen that up. And make sure you have a drip pan underneath to collect the coolant. To access the coolant temperature sensor, you're going to have to disconnect a couple harnesses, pry up the red clip on this harness, and then push in the tab and pull the harness free. And now right here, push on the tab on this harness and pull this harness free. And this is actually your coolant temperature sensor. Use a 3 quarters inch socket and just remove the sensor. On the left is the old coolant temperature sensor. On the right is the new one from 1A Auto. You can see they're identical and they mount exactly the same. Put the sensor into the socket and lower it down into place. And just twist it in. And then use the ratchet to tighten it up. Now reconnect the two harnesses. And on that white harness, make sure you push down that red clip. Use your 16 millimeter wrench to tighten up the coolant drain plug. Refill your coolant reservoir using the proper type of coolant. And some of this may go down into the engine as well, so it may take a little while to fill. Replace your cap. And you're going to want to bleed the air out of the coolant system. So there's a little bleeder plug here. Loosen that up. You'll want to check the fluid, make sure you have uh, keep the fluid tank at the perfect level. And then you can see here, loosening that up, you see air come out. Uh, you don't want to take it all the way out, just have it loose. Uh, once the air stops coming out, uh, then you can just refill your fluid ball to the right level, tighten that plug up. Uh, you should know that your engine is getting the correct fluid for your temperature gauge will settle in right where it should have been. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.